Our next section is the free or cheap service fringe benefit. And what we look at here is a situation where the employer either renders a service to you for free or for cheap, or it's a situation where the employer pays for someone to render a service. So for example, if the employer pays for me um, to see someone that can help me run faster, train better, right, exercise better, whatever the case might be. Now, the, in this section, there are two broad categories. There's the first category, and this is a very specific situation, is if the employer is engaged in the business of conveying passengers by sea or air. So this will be a, a shipping company, um, but shipping people, or it will be an, an airline, for example, um, or a place involved in taking people via air. And the second category is anything else. So you can see an employer engaged in air or sea travel and everybody else. Okay. Now, what you'll see over here, how it works is, if the employer who is engaged in the business of conveying passengers by sea or air gives one of his employees a trip outside of South Africa, so they tell you, you can, so I work for SAA, South African Airways, and they tell me I can fly for free to America. Then the ticket, the cheapest ticket on that flight, whatever the value of the cheapest ticket is, that is the value of the fringe benefit. In any other situation, it is the cost to the employer. Okay, so let's quickly just talk about it. There's no value for the following fringe benefits. If the employer is in the business of conveying passengers and this trip is for the spouse or the minor child. So I work for SAA and SAA allows my wife to visit me right so to visit me or to allow my wife to let's actually change it and say um, SAA allows my wife to fly from Johannesburg to Cape Town for free now how this situation works they tell you if this is a destination in the Republic right or if you can travel over land from inside the Republic to outside the Republic or it is a trip for the employee spouse to uh, or a minor child to a situation outside of the Republic then it will be null so basically what I want you to see here is if they allow your spouse to come and visit you or your child inside South Africa it is null and if they allow them to go outside of South Africa, it will also be null, but important here. If the spouse or minor child could not make a reservation in advance. So, they allow my daughter to fly to England, but she can't book the ticket in advance. So, basically what will happen is on the day, on the 10th of September, let's say, right before they're about to take off the plane, they see, that's a plane as you can see, All right, right before the plane takes off, they see there's an open seat and they say to my daughter, do you want to fly to America? And she says, yes. So she couldn't book it before and then it will also be a null value. Okay, so in South Africa, yes, you can book. They will allow the spouse or the child to book beforehand and it's still null value. Outside of South Africa, you, must, you can't book. If it is to transport employees to and from home, Right, so I pay, I give a service to all my employees where I collect them with a bus from home and I drop them off at work and I take them back home in the evening. There's no fringe benefit on that. If it's a communication service, which is used mainly for the employer's business, so your employer pays your cell phone account and you use it for business, right? If it is services rendered by the employer to the employee at their place of work, so, to better perform their duties, or to enjoy it at work, or for all the employees in general. So, this will be, for example, for better performance at work. So, my employer lets people come and give a free service to us on how to manage my time better. All right, that's a free service. That, but it will also allow me to do my, my work better. So, that is not value. Or, the employer gets someone that will give you free massages at work if you just go there during break and it's for everybody for free right good employees should hang on to that one but they it's also no value
And then the last one is, if it is for my spouse or my minor child to allow them to come and visit me when I'm working away from work, then they will also not be relevant. So if I am away from my usual place of residence, and that is more than 250 kilometers away from home, and I must be there more than 183 days in the year, then it will have no benefit. So for example, I'm again, I'm based in Johannesburg, and I have to go to America for seven months, and they allow my spouse and my child to come and visit me. I'm more than 250 kilometers away from home, I'm away from my usual place of residence, and I'm there more than 183 days of the year. 183 days is six months. Right, then there is no value attached to that.